Alrighty everyone, what is going on and welcome back to today's video. In today's video we're going to be going over a little bit of something that I've I've been finding out that a lot of people have been having problems with since the new sensitivity, which is settings. Now, I obviously make settings videos a fair bit, but in today's video we're going to go over how you guys can find your own sensitivity instead of copying other people's. And especially with this um especially with this new settings, especially this one here, ADS settings, as you can see there all of these are just you have individual settings for each scope now. And they can be very, um, they can be a bit difficult. They have been very difficult for a lot of people to find what exactly their sensitivity is compared to what it was back in the day because a lot of people's sensitivity feels off. Me, personally, I didn't really have a problem with any of my sensitivity issues. Honestly, my my sensitivity was fine. But I'm going to be going over this video how you guys can find your, uh, your sensitivity and some strategies for you to also just try and get together all your sensitivity and find your sense for this season so you guys can push as high ranks as you possibly can get. So without further ado, we're just going to get into it. So obviously, firstly, we're just going to go over basic sensitivity. Uh, let me get close to a wall real quick. I'm, I'm doing it with Sam Fisher because this is a gun that I have not used once in an actual... I haven't used in a ranked game yet, so it's a bit of a new gun for me as well. So I can show you guys what I mean. So obviously on this gun, I have the 2 times sight. So the 2 times sight, if you put... You, you can leave your controller ADS settings on standard. This kind of sorts it out. For me at least, this is what I've been running. I'm probably not going to change this, but I'm just going to go over it for you guys because I do know how, how this new stuff works. I've been looking into it for most of today. But, um... If you do want to run standard for me, 50, 50 standard is the same as 50 ADS back was last season. And I've had no problems with the uh, sensitivity change. I don't know where, why I went out of the settings there. But I've had absolutely no problems with the sensitivity change. I've still got the same sensitivity I had last season. This is all the same. And I just put this on standard 50 and my sensitivity feels exactly the same. But I know for some people it does feel off. So with the 2 times sight. Now, what we're going to go over quickly here is um, there is a calculator on the internet. Um, I will put a link to it in the description down below and I will put a video of it up on the screen now. Um, so in this calculator you have, it's, you go onto it and then you put in your current ADS sensitivity that you ran last season and then it will calculate the recommended sensitivity for that, for that, um, for that specific site on what you prefer to use. So I'm going to type mine in real quick here, I don't have, I won't show you live, so... They're recommending that if you use 50 sensitivity last year, then if you want to run 60 sensitivity on your 2 times magnification. So that means you change that up. Apply that to 60, and then you have your 2 times magn. That should be about 50, similar to 50 sensitivity last season. So that that's how, the, I don't know, it's all kind of whack, but that's the new sensitivity, and we'll just give it a shot. I'll shoot at this wall, see how I can control. Hold up. Let me see what the recoil pattern even is first. Jeez, that's got a bit of recoil to it. All right. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is just down the side. Alright, so as you can see, my vertical sensitivity was still a little bit off. This guy's trying to kill me. What an animal. But yeah, the um the vertical was still a little bit off, so we're going to pull that back up. The ADS was still a little bit off, sorry. So we're going to go back here, and maybe, maybe we'll drop it back to 50. I've been running 50 personally, so I don't know how accurate all this stuff is, but we'll put it on 50, and now we'll just give it a quick shot. So it's just down and there you go that was a little bit better I lost I lost it a little bit down here but that wasn't sensitivity so yeah that's just an example of how you guys can find your sensitivity with this new stuff you just pull up this calculator and try and work with it and if you feel like the calculator is not working just do what I'm doing right now to switch play with your sensitivity so say say it still feels too slow for you just bump it up to 70 and then give it another shot I'm probably not gonna be able to control this at all because that's a little bit high for what I'm used to but yeah just do what I'm doing right now. Hop into a terrace hunt. You have infinite time. Just try not to get run out on like that guy tried to run out on me. And just play with your control ADS sensitivity until you feel like you've found what you believe is right. So that's the best way for you to find this new settings. I know I've had a lot of people asking this, so I just wanted to reinforce it. Make sure to practice and use this calculator if you like. And that is probably the best way for you to get your sensitivity figured out. So otherwise, in tense, in everything else is still the same. There has really been no other changes. Vertical sensitivity is still the same. Horizontal, dead zones, controller rotation, aim assist, all that. Drone deployment. Obviously, there's all this new stuff with your, your colors and stuff. I don't know. I've been sticking to default, honestly. I haven't really messed with it yet. I prefer default, and you can turn the opacity down. That's really not relevant. So that's going to be how you sort out your new sensitivity. And um, other than that, 
once you actually get this sensitivity down pat, the thing you want to go and want to do now is just your, is just your basic warming up. You're gonna want to go into a T hunt and just do this. Try and focus on your um, try and focus on your crosshair placement, your recoil control, and just try and try and figure out what you feel is right. Like if you can shoot shooting at a wall and shooting at actual enemies who are shooting back is kind of a different story. Obviously he wasn't shooting back, but I think you guys get what I mean. So shooting at this people is gonna be just different type of levels and actually practicing on proper terrorists is gonna help you out in actually getting your recoil figured out and getting your sensitivity figured out. So obviously I don't really know how to use this gun, so my aim might be a little bit all over the place, but it shouldn't be too bad. So hopefully I'm able to not be a trash can and show you show you guys off my current sensitivity. This is a sensitivity I've been putting in videos for I'm not sure how long I've been doing weekly videos on sensitivity guides for new people coming into the channel, so but yeah, this is just this is just trying to help you guys out who are getting who are a little bit stuck on the um the sensitivity changes. So I know so I know there's a few people who have been commenting, especially on my Twitch stream, asking how do you my sensitivity feels off, how do I change it? So this is just a quick little video to help you guys out. I'm just gonna go over this terrorist hunt to show you guys what to get used to. I'm on low ammo because I was dumping too many rounds into a wall. I'm gonna have to use my pistol for a bit. Hold on. I need an a I need an ammo resupply, but or I just pistol it for the rest of the round. But I wouldn't say that's really a good showcase. Here we go. All right. Oh, there's people in here with me. And while I was grabbing fucking ammo, nice. <laughs> Will I be able to get it off? I'm not sure, but yeah. As I said, once you once you get your sensitivity sorted out and you feel like you're doing good and you have it controlled while you're shooting at the wall, then you're gonna want to do what I'm doing right now and hop into a proper game and just practice. Well, not this isn't a proper game, but a proper terrorist hunt and just try and practice your aim against enemies and increase the difficulty on the terrorist hunt if you feel like you want to practice against people who can actually shoot you as well. Obviously this is not obviously geez, that ain't one all over the place. Obviously this is on normal, so they're probably not gonna hit me much, but that's just an example of something I've said this many times, I've made many videos on this, but this is how to find your sensitivity. And yeah, with that said, um I don't really I don't think there's much else to say really. There's just just make sure you, you find your sensitivity shooting at the wall, practice it in terrorist hunt to figure out your recoil um, your crosshair placement, your recoil control, and just your all overall like placement of your weapon and stuff, and eventually you'll just get it down bad. It's no different any other season. You just have to put the practice in, in Terrace Hunt, and eventually it will just come to you guys. So I hope this video did help you guys out. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to drop a sub on the channel as well if you found this helpful. We are very close to 10k, and maybe we'll even be at 10k very soon. Maybe after this video comes out, you're watching after. Who knows what I'll be at? But thank you guys for stopping by. I I'd appreciate it if you did like and sub on the video though. Completely completely optional and if you're interested in asking more questions or seeing a little bit more tips make sure to stop out by at my twitch channel i stream there every day except for saturdays from 7 15 p.m australia eastern standard time i'd love to see all of you guys there stopping by but with that said i think that's enough talking from me make sure to go get some wins get those ranks i'll catch you guys later peace